What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. Presenting to you guys the first ever ringside exclusive AEW action figure. This is not referring to the ring with Kenny Omega and the ringside exclusive AEW Wicked Cool Toys, you know, scale ring with the figures that we're going to get, you know, for their unrivaled line. But this is its own standalone action figure that ringside, exclu or ringside collectibles is presenting presenting to us with Wicked Cool Toys, with AEW, uh, just like we get WWE ringside exclusives. This is the first ever AEW one, and it is going to be a little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho ringside exclusive AEW unrivaled figure. Now you guys can see here on the screen, it looks fantastic. I'm actually really, really excited for this one. He comes with a ton of accessories, as you can see, and he is going to, uh, he, he looks great. I actually love this head sculpt, guys. I think it looks great. He's got like the bubbly head sculpt, like he's saying bubbly. So it's pretty, I, I like that a lot. I think that's really excellent. Um, you know, we, we get a little bit of the bubbly. Obviously, with him, we get an AEW microphone because obviously after he won the world title, he was walking around the backstage cutting promos on people. He found a little bit of the bubbly, created a moment, and now we have our own figure that, you know, resembles that exact moment. I think that is so freaking sick, and I love how uh, how specific it is, how it has the little plate of, like, vegetables slash sushi right there, and then you have the little bucket, you got the cups, you got the table. I think it's so freaking cool, and I love the packaging that we got going on with it. I really, really do love the packaging, and this is actually the first time we're kind of seeing the Chris Jericho torso for the AEW figures. You know, we've seen the 1 in 1000 version of Jericho. We've seen the regular version of the Unrivaled collection from Series 1. And I love this torso. I think it looks great on Jericho. It's not too ripped up. You can barely see, you know, his abs right there. And I, I feel like every single figure that we've gotten from AEW has been pretty, like, specific. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it doesn't look like he has the shoulder holes. And so that makes me think that none of their figures are going to have those big holes in their shoulders and if that's the case then that's excellent like if that's you know is that going to be just this ringside exclusive figure that doesn't have the little shoulder peg holes if you know if you guys remember what i'm talking about i'll i'll make sure you guys can see the difference between the two but um this Jericho figure does not have the shoulder little holes there, the peg holes right there, so that maybe all every figure we've seen to this point has been a prototype, and maybe all the figures moving forward will not have that little shoulder hole, but this Chris Jericho looks fantastic, man. I'm really enjoying it. I like the boots. I like the knee pads. I like the way he looks. All of the tattoos are there, which is something we've never seen with the Chris Jericho, and I really don't know how they got that. I guess maybe they either changed it a little bit, or they're paying royalties to all these different bands and and stuff for these logos. Uh, I'm not sure, but I know he also has the hockey mask. I know I don't think the hockey mask can be copywritten per se because it's just a hockey mask, but the hockey mask and the Canadian flag on his inner bicep is there. So I don't know if they've, you know, if they're paying somebody for all these tattoos or if they are just accepting it. Um, I can't see his Fozzie tattoo on the hand. I don't know if it's still there. We'll have to see if it's there or not when we finally get the figure. But I love the packaging. You got the little bit of the bubbly there. And he is coming with all of these accessories. You got the AEW Championship. You got the ice bucket. You got the table. You got the uh, two bottles of bubbly. And I think it says bottle of bubbly. Or uh, it says lay bubbly, I think, on the bottle there. So you got one open lay bubbly. And you have one uh, that's not open, obviously. And, you know, you got to have your lay bubbly to go with your lay champion. So that's pretty beautiful. And you got the fruit tray. You got the cups. And uh, it looks like the table is actually going to be breakaway. So I'm excited to see how sturdy it is, you know, how, how good that looks. And uh, it looks like the table is completely different from ringside's table and Mattel's tables. Or it kind of looks similar to Mattel's tables, but the ringside tables are much different. Like the legs, I can already tell right there. But how beautiful, man. That's so excellent. So the biggest thing with this is I know that, you know, it's another Chris Jericho and it may not be that exciting. But the big thing about this thing is... Obviously, the bubbly. I mean, the bubbly is the biggest thing. Who cares about the AEW World Championship? I'm just kidding. I, I know that you could easily get these bo these bottles somewhere else, but the AEW Championship is the big thing because you guys know that we have three Chris Jerichos now. You have the Unrivaled Collection Series 1 Chris Jericho. You have the Chase Variant, which is the 1 in 1000 Chris Jericho that comes with the AEW title and the Inner Circle t-shirt. And then you have this version, which is Ringside Exclusive. And I don't know if it's up for pre-order just yet, but you do want to go over to Ringside Collectibles 
WrestlingFigures.com and check that out because if if it's up for pre-order, guys, you're going to want to pre-order this using promo code MDTOYS. That way you get the AEW Championship because if you don't get the AEW Championship with this one, you're, it's going to be very hard to track down the AEW Championship with that 1 in 1,000 Jericho. So this is going to definitely help your odds. While, you know, ringside exclusives are pretty expensive and, you know, they can get rare, especially this first AEW version, I think this one's probably going to be pretty difficult to track down possibly. So you definitely, as soon as they put this up for pre-order, I would definitely go grab it because if you don't, then you're probably going to miss out on that AEW championship because we don't know how hard the chase variants are going to get. We don't know how hard, you know, all of that stuff's going to be to track down, especially with, uh, you know, this being like our first time kind of experimenting with it. And uh, it's going to get hectic. Like a thousand is not a lot. There's that like a thousand figures is not a lot of figures, man. So hopefully, you know, it's not absolutely a nightmare to find these figures. And so this is going to be a really good way for you to track down the AEW championship. Maybe you want to get a couple of them so you can have two. So when John Moxley wins, you can have a Chris Jericho with the AEW title and you can put it on your series to John Moxley if he wins it at Revolution tomorrow night. So, I mean, there's, there's some, uh, there's a lot of bonuses to this figure. I really enjoy the head sculpt. I mean, this guy comes with a ton of stuff. If you count the microphone, if you count the championship, the bucket, the two bottles, the two cups, I mean, he comes with like 10 accessories and a great head sculpt. He doesn't come with any shirts or anything, but I think the AEW championship and the bubbly head sculpt is really good, dude. Like, it looks like they have true effects technology. Like, all those prototypes that we saw of the figures, I think they're going to look a whole lot better after seeing this Chris Jericho. Like, look at that head sculpt. That head sculpt looks much better than his other figure. So, I, I really think that they're going to have some true effects technology. And these figures are going to end up being better than we really think. And also, I meant to mention that, uh, I don't know if you guys know who F. Woosh is or F. Woosh on uh, YouTube. He does action figure talk. He talks about action figures all the time. He mentions, you know, all, I'm talking all ranges of action figures. The man covers from freaking Power Rangers to Marvel Legends to NECA to WWE to Transformers. The dude covers anything action figure related. The dude is on top of it. Any collectible action figure, the dude is a freaking animal. I think his name's Rob. He is a really beast. Definitely go check out his channel, guys. He talked about, uh, he was actually at New York Toy Fair, and he went by the AEW booth, and he said that they had a Mattel Elite Dolph Ziggler, and they used that as scale to put up next to the AEW figures, and they scaled perfectly. So uh, that is something, that that is another account that we have had that has said that these figures are going to be in scale so I really strongly feel that they're going to be in scale you know it's it's hard to feel that way when you haven't naturally seen it if I haven't seen it it's really hard to agree with it hopefully we get a photo soon because I think that would be a really good tipping point I really think that either ringside or AEW or somebody needs to take a Mattel figure and do a side-by-side -side comparison I, I think it's going to help a lot with orders I think that if if you confirm the size you confirm the scaling I think orders would just start pouring in because you know that's it. I think that's what a lot of people want to see. They want to see if it scales perfectly with Mattel, and apparently it does. We've had many accounts. Also, we we mentioned in the other day when we released the information that Magic, one of the head designers at Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares, actually used to work at Mattel, so he knows a lot of the secrets. He knows exactly what the scaling is, you know, uh, proportion sizes, all that good stuff. That they use like a two to one proportion size and stuff like that. When when making these figures, guys, I think they use a specific ratio and they use the same ratio for every single figure that way you're never off so if you know when you're making arms you're making heads to torsos you make it torsos to legs or whatever the case they use specific ratios to get those you know those scaling points absolutely correct and i'm sure that magic and the designers over at wicked cool toys and jazz wares really wanted to make that an emphasizer for when they were making these AEW figures, but I'm really excited for these. I think they look great. I'm really excited for the Chris Jericho, and it looks like this one is probably the most completed. It looks like this Chris Jericho is perfect, and I think that that is exactly what it's going to be when all these figures are said and done, so hopefully, you know, we don't have any craziness, and these figures actually, you know, do you know, fit the bill, and they don't have those shoulder things. They have the true effects, and I think these figures are going to be even better than we actually think, but I did want to put this figure up to you guys and show you guys everything and kind of explain where I'm coming from with all this information, not just the Chris Jericho, but all that other news as far as scaling, as far as all the other things that I wanted to talk about in this video. But if it's up for pre-order, guys, you definitely want to go pre-order all of Series 1, and this is probably going to go on pre-order later today, possibly, um, or it already may be up. So definitely go check out Ringside Collective 
collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. And I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.